Greetings, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. Today, I want to put a couple of pieces together. Anyone watching this is probably familiar with the Honeywell uranium conversion facility located on the outskirts of Metropolis, Illinois. Well, new evidence shows that uranium has been detected at a local elementary school near Metropolis, Illinois. The school where uranium has been detected is Maple Grove Elementary School, which is a kindergarten through fifth grade school. And also, anyone who's local knows that a head start is pretty close to this Maple Grove school. So, But before we get into that evidence, let's look at something else here real quick. Earlier this year, a school in Piketon, Ohio, the Zahn's Corner Middle School, shut down because radiation was discovered at this school. Uranium, Neptunium, americium, etc., etc., was detected. Due to the past activities at the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, which included enriching uranium up to highly enriched uranium for the use in nuclear bombs and in the nuclear fuel cycle for power plants, environmental monitoring stations were set up to detect transuranics and the fission product technetium-99. And these transuranics, these include americium, neptunium, and plutonium. Although in Metropolis, at the Honeywell facility, off-site monitoring stations at the Maple Grove Elementary School were only set up to detect uranium and fluorides. Although we know that the Honeywell Metropolis facility had released other radionuclides into the environment, why wasn't the elementary school and other schools that are even closer to the plant set up to monitor uranium, transuranics, and the daughter products of uranium. According to Honeywell's newly released just last month environmental assessment for the renewal of their source material license for uranium, the soil monitoring shows from 2010 to 2018 Yes, uranium has been detected in the soil at this elementary school for the span of 2010 to 2018. Let's look at the vegetation. Vegetation monitoring, uranium, 2018, still there from 2010 through 2018 with a massive spike as you could see in 2011 massive spike but still detected in 2018 so let's look at at this in 1984 here's their environmental impact statement for the renewal of their source material license and see if maple grove was detected there Average annual concentrations of uranium in off-site environmental soil samples for the years 1979 through 1982. It certainly looks like uranium was detected then. From 1979 at least until 2018 and definitely 2019, It's still there in the soil and in the vegetation. Going back that far. So it's been there since 79 and it is still there. So now that we have this information, and trust me, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the radiation situation in Metropolis, Illinois. What are we going to do with this information? Are we going to pursue more justice and equal justice? I believe that the Metropolis citizens and the schools 
need to be treated as equal as the Piketon area in regards to the Zahn's Corner Middle School being contaminated by the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant. There are schools in Metropolis, I know the high school is about a mile and a half away, which definitely deserves some very rigorous testing. There aren't even air monitors there, or any type of monitors. What about the Head Start? What about the other schools in Metropolis downwind? What are we going to do as responsible citizens, researchers, investigators, teachers, public figures, board of education? Are we going to question why our county commissioners did not let us know that our elementary schools and definitely other schools have been exposed to uranium? I think we should question them. And let's move forward with getting these schools investigated for the radiation contamination. These kids didn't ask for it. Their parents didn't ask for their kids to be signed up into a radioactive school. Let's protect our future. Let's do what's right. Truth plus unity equals triumph. This is Bobby Vaughn Jr., investigative journalist with a call to actions. God bless you guys.